everyone. So today we're going to go over how to print. I have a styrofoam printing plate, it's called a printing plate, and a linoleum printing plate, which is kind of like rubber. This is usually for eighth grade and high school, and this is usually for sixth and seventh. I'm going to put them over here. And we'll show you what you need. You need a plexiglass plate to spread out the ink on. They're usually right here, and if you can't find anything, it's usually here in the recently washed section. So I'll take one of these. You need some ink, which is found in here. I already got mine out. I'm gonna put this over here. You need newspaper, which is found at the black shelves over there. Mm -hmm. And you need a palette knife, which I'll show you. Palette knives look like this or like this and sometimes like a butter knife kind of and they're plastic doesn't matter which one they're always found by the paintbrushes so we're gonna go over here the last and one of the most important things you'll need is called a brayer it's like a roller and these are found in the same place that the inks are found in the yellow cabinets So I'm going to take, let's see, about this much ink. It's about dime sized. Spread it on here. And then I'm going to take my brayer and roll it in every direction. I might actually need a little bit more ink, but we'll find out in a second. So rolling it in every direction coats it really evenly on your brayer, which is really important. I'm move this to the side and take my styrofoam pl printing plate that was made by a sixth grade student. And I'm going to start rolling on it. Okay, so to me, see how it's a little bit gray down here and not totally black? That means that I need a little bit more ink. So I'm gonna need a little bit more ink. Another dime size, maybe. You wanna hear that ticky tacky sound. Mmm, that's better. You can go any direction you want. And I flip it this way. The same exact principle applies to rolling ink onto the linoleum surfaces. You'll want an apron for this, by the way. I actually get even a little bit more. I'm doing two prints at once. I think I need a little bit extra. You don't want your ink to go into the crevices that you carved too much. See how it's white in there? That's good. But you do want to get all your corners nice and black. And we have many different colors of ink. We have silver and pink and green and blue. Okay. Now, you'll want to carefully move your printing plates to a clean area. Then you'll want to get any kind of paper you want. Usually I have pre-cut colored paper in your resource folders, which are over there by that whiteboard. So I have some of that here. I have green, it'll do like a, a light green and a dark green. So, in a clean area, I have my new paper, making sure I'm not using my fingerprints on here. And I keep it clean. Put it down like this. And you're gonna rub with this part of your hand for a little while until you see the print starting to come through the paper. I'll show you. You see it starting to come through a little bit? 
before you totally pull off the paper, it's always smart to peek. I think I need to press a little bit harder. Okay. Now I'm going to hold the plate with my thumb and pull off gently. And there's my print. It looks like I could use a little bit more ink up here. Do you see how it's a little bit gray instead of black? Now I'm gonna try the heart. Again, it's in a clean area. Putting my paper down. I'm gonna move to this table where it's less shaky. peek under. Ooh, yeah, that's coming out nice. Okay. There's the other print. Now you'll want to put your name on these and put them on the drying rack in the back room. Sometimes if you have a tiny piece of paper like this, it doesn't necessarily fit on the drying rack. It might fall through, so you might want to put a piece of newspaper on a shelf of the drying rack. That way it won't fall through the cracks. Um, we're going to do one more thing. If you follow me to the sink over here, I'll show you how to clean this stuff. What you want to remember is not to use a sponge because it will ruin the sponge, as you might imagine. There's a lot of ink on this. And these are pretty fun to clean. You can use your fingers. Also the brayer helps to kind of get some of the stuff off. So you're gonna do this until it's completely clean, and then you can put it into the dish rack right next to me. The brayer, you see what I'm doing with my hand? I'm cleaning like that, making sure all the ink is off it. You will absolutely want an apron for this. Your printing plates get cleaned in the same way, dried with a towel, and put in your folder. Go right in here when you're done. Same with the palette knife. And same with your plexiglass. See, it's coming off pretty good. All right, that's it for printing.